When I say casual Call of Duty is dead, I think casual Call of Duty is dead. I don't think we're ever going to get a nice game from Call of Duty or Activision in this scenario, but I do think that there is potential for the future, but I wouldn't say anytime soon. The Call of Duty franchise is still going strong after so many years, and it's not going to slow down anytime soon. I think they're in a place where they are comfortable pumping out these games every single year. Like I said, it's a money-making machine. The games are copy and paste. Everybody hates that, you know, and I think that's the worst part of Call of Duty now, too. I think the franchise is so controversial. I know, crazy. But the thing is, I think a lot of people kind of underline the fact that hating on Call of Duty really is the wave now. Think about it. What are your favorite content creators talking about? Is it skill-based matchmaking? Is it bundles? Is it DLC? I bet you it is most of that, but if anything, most of the content creators that I watch personally, and this could be just me personally, I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, it's just my opinion, but I see a lot of takes that, yeah, they talk about skill-based matchmaking, and when I say that, I'm not talking about big, big content creators, it's mostly smaller in my niche, like people that are like my level, like my kind of subscribers, that are talking about these issues, and I've seen them grow exponentially because all they do is hate on call of duty and it is valid criticism i will say too but most of their videos are dedicated to trying to fix the franchise in a i won't i don't want to say hateful manner but in a way where it is going to drive people to change their ways for call of duty and that means probably not buying a certain game each year paying for bundles i know warzone's still going strong people are buying bundles for that and look man i'm not telling you what you can and can't do with your money each year every single game is going to be the same thing fundamentally everything you play is going to be the same thing maybe one year we won't have zombies but maybe the next year we will you know obviously we have sledgehammer we have infinity ward we have treyarch these comp these developers have been pumping out call of duty games since i have been born and it's crazy how long the franchise has been going strong and which with each Call of Duty, I will say every game since 2007 has been different. I will admit that it's the same multiplayer campaign and maybe spec ops or zombies. It's the same thing every single year. And we're being we're getting charged either 60 to 70 dollars. And again, I'm not telling you what you can and can't do with your money, but I'm to the point where I've noticed that people just hate the game more than they actually play it. And I think that's where I'm falling into, and it kind of sucks, man. I don't like to be very negative. I don't like to hate on any type of game because I know there's genuine developers out there that pump so many hours of development and passion into these games. You know, look at Rockstar. They're pumping, what, it's like over a billion dollars into GTA 6. That game has been in development since like 2014, 2015, and it's 2024, so it's been, what, like, 10, 13 years, I can't really do the math at the top of my head, I, I know, but that game has been in development for a while, and it's going to be released next year, which is crazy to think about, but we're not talking about Grand Theft Auto in this video. I really just wanted to sit down and just kind of talk about my honest opinion where Call of Duty has gone in the last couple months or years at this point, honestly, when I say months, I'm talking about like what I've noticed and years, obviously, if you look back at the previous Call of Duty games, it's quite honestly sad, and what the games are nowadays you know they release in a buggy and messy state and there's people who defend that kind of stuff and i'm not one of those people this these games sorry these games are coming from a triple a publisher right and the developers are getting funded by those huge huge companies Activision is owned by Microsoft now so they're probably worth a huge huge amount of money guys and honestly, for what we pay for these games, I honestly do think we deserve a lot. I am happy that Black Ops 6 is releasing this year with four years of development. I will say that the game does not even feel like it felt like four years. It feels like a Cold War had a baby with Modern Warfare, but I, I, I don't really want to elaborate on that too much. But like, like I said, guys, it just kind of sucks into the position that Call of Duty is falling into. 
But that's going to have to wrap up today's video, guys. I kind of want to just record this off the top of my dome. I don't really want to like elaborate on too many things and go into super detail. But I might have stuttered. I might have said some stupid things. But honestly, I kind of just wanted to like pour my heart into this video because honestly, I just wanted to get some things off my chest. I've been just feeling like going back and revisiting games. And honestly, I haven't even been happy playing games lately. The only things that I've really been playing are just Call of Duty and I will say Borderlands because I'm super excited for that. But other than that, that's all I've really been playing. I bought an Xbox game literally the other day when I was door dashing. But I don't, haven't even touched that. I haven't even touched my Xbox in a while. It's just catching dust. I have my PlayStation right here. But all I really play is PC now. Which is, um, I will say it's, an, it's a better thing. But other than that, guys, that's going to have to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.